Hi, uh, my name is Frederick Forster, head chef at The Boundary in Shoreditch. Um, today I'm going to cook for you um, roast sea bass with spring vegetables and uh, caviar cream sauce. Take a little bit of um, olive oil and vegetable oil into the pan. I take my um, sea bass and um, I'm just going to score the surface so that it stops the skin from actually curling. So let's make a very slight cut into the surface of the actual sea bass itself, not too deep. Okay, just like so. Now I'll just season it with a little bit of salt. I like to use a uh, molden salt, so do that on both sides. So you get a nice hot pan, okay. Should be smoking before you put the fish inside, so you get like a nice coloration. Place my sea bass inside, skin side down. And then I just put my hand, on, well my fingers on it really, for about 30 seconds, just to sort of make sure the fish stays nice and flat. A lot of people don't like to eat the skin of fish, um, especially when it's not crispy. So it's important when you actually are pan frying your fish to get like a nice coloration so it's nice and crispy. It makes it more desirable to eat. So nice and flat now. I'll leave that on the surface for about, you know, two to three minutes to get slightly golden brown. Meanwhile, while that's cooking nicely, I'm gonna basically start reheating all my um, vegetables. I'm just gonna reheat it in a little bit of vegetable stock, which we made with some water, a little bit of white wine, and some vegetables like carrots, leeks, and onions. So it's a very pure flavor. Inside, I'm going to put in um, a few Jersey Royals. Okay, my wild asparagus. About six or seven pieces. I'm going to put um, one uh, spring onion. A little knob of butter. Some more vegetable stock to reheat it. A bit of salt and pepper. And get that nice and hot now on the stove. Okay. Keep the ticking over nicely glazed. The fish now, as you can see, is slightly getting a bit colored on the outside. Turn it over, so you get like a nice light golden brown color to begin with. Leave it on, on the opposite side for about 30 seconds. Okay. Okay, now I'll turn it back over again. And that will go in the oven now on about gas mark five or six for about four to five minutes. Okay, then I'm going to reheat my um, fish cream sauce, which I make with some white wine, some shallots, some fish stock, some vegetable stock, reduce that down, add some cream to that, okay, and then boil that for basically two to three minutes. That gets strained off, and then I add a bit of salt, pepper, and lemon juice to that, and a bit of butter. So it's like a very sort of light cream sauce, and then we'll add a bit of caviar as well at the very, very last moment. I'll add my peas in now, just a handful of peas in there. Okay, so here I've just got my cream sauce inside here. That'll just go in the stove now, keep it nice and warm. Okay, the fish have been inside the oven for about three minutes now, so I'll have a little check. Okay, lovely. Almost there now. So that'll go back in the oven again for another two minutes. Now I'm just going to cook my um, spinach very quickly. Put my few leaves of spinach inside. A little bit of salt and pepper again. And a little bit of the vegetable stock. About a tablespoon. And all I'm doing is wilting the vegetables down. You don't want to cut the spinach for too much, you know. Keep it slightly, slightly undercooked and raw. So spinach gets drained now. Take off any excess water. The fish now comes out of the pan as well. Any excess oil, just spoon it over. Vegetables in there, just put a little bit of chopped, pars chopped parsley in there. And now I'm going to start dressing the dish now. So all we do, a little bit of spinach in the bottom of the bowl. Okay. Place the um, sea bass on top, skin side up. Just like that. Vegetables are nicely glazed now. And then just very naturally spoon my vegetables over and around the dish. So just keep it very nice and natural. Yeah. Hasn't got to be very regimental at all. You know. Very garden-like. Okay. But also allow the fish to be to be seen and not, not covered. It's fine there. So all we're gonna do now is just basically finish off the sauce, um, give it a quick buzz, and then we're gonna sauce the plate. So I just bring my cream sauce to the boil, add a little knob of butter and a little bit more vegetable stock so it's not too rich. A bit of salt on top. 
always tasting as you're going along. It needs a little touch of um, lemon juice in there. It's fine. Now I'm just going to use our little pan blender to get some nice aeration and allow the butter and the seeding to all mix together nicely. Okay, now I'm just going to spoon over the sauce over and around the dish. And then finally just spoon a bit of caviar on top. So, and there we have it, the um, roast sea bass with spring vegetables and the caviar cream sauce.